Glad to have you back. It's the Business Daily right here on Trust Television. We straight, straight we go into our next uh, discussion. Agriculture, and of course, want to look at the government policies so far and how it has benefited the sector. And have joining me uh, in the studio, the president of All Farmers Progressive Association, Chief Dr. Joseph Douglas. Glad to have you on Business Daily. Good morning, please. Yes, uh, quite a whole lot of uh, policies have been introduced to help farmers. At what extent has your members benefited from these policies? Yes. Uh, if I will say, we are still hoping much to see the performance of the new government. In relation to the past government, mm. like I've told you, they were concentrated basically on the portfolio of farmers. Mm. And that is the reason why we cannot achieve any result in agriculture. Mm. They were concentrating on political farmers. Who are their relations? Who are their neighbors? Who are their friends? And basically, when we concentrate on such a thing, you don't expect any result. Mm. Whatever money the government said they have given to them, they just siphon this money, go and service their habit. Enriching themselves, filling their pocket, building houses, marrying wives, and so on and so forth. And with that, we don't expect any result. Mm. But with the coming of the new administration, there is a hope, a very strong hope on ground. Like I'm telling you, the, the, the Tinibu himself being the president, is a fantasy basically on agriculture. All the governors are singing the same tune. Mm. Like my own governor, his priority is basically on agriculture. And we are working out a way to make sure that youth, mm. and especially women, are cut out to the street mm, uh, uh, of roaming about. Uh, uh, absolutely. Interesting yes. submission there. Yes. Let's look at it. Your mm. members uh, cut across the 36 states of the Federation That's and right. the Federal Capital Territory. Yes. Mm. And in every state that you go in Nigeria, there are some particular crops that are actually peculiar to those states. Uh, mm. There are some states that have advantage of producing different kind of crops anyway. But are you trying to prioritize Let's say states uh, where you have members that uh, cultivate more of kidney corn or maize or rice or beans. Are uh, you like, you know, putting them together in a way that they can come up with a commodity? You know that, okay, a state, is so-so and so state is coming up with, a, uh, uh, is coming to supply the market with so-so amount of uh, maize or gari or uh, millet as the case may be. Are you putting your farmers together in that respect? Good. Uh, you see, in our farmers progressive association, there are kind of practice we are putting in place that is quite different from other farmers' organizations. Mm. Uh, like I've always said, we are a team of professionals that know much about how we can get into agriculture and produce well for the country. Mm. You see, Nigeria, as the case may be, is a, is a dawn in agri productions. But if you look at the, ge uh, the geopolitical zones in the country, there are some certain kind of crops that can grow somewhere and there are other that cannot grow in that place. Absolutely. Like for instance, if you go to northwest or north uh, east, the production of maize, um, sorghum, um, rice, and similar other cash crops mm. can produce well in those areas. But when you come to south, where there are uh, climate regions in mm. that place, mm. you see that the product of uh, products like yams, cassava, uh, potatoes, mm. and several other ones are basically produced in such places. So what all farmers do is to aggregate our farmers according to commodity of productions. Mm. We center mostly in one of the states that can produce a particular crops, aggregate our people there and you know, cluster them to be able to go and uh, farm and produce well for us. Mm. So what we are doing basically is we need uh, an assistance from government to actualize all these things. Mm. We have them already on ground, but where is the power behind uh, our, our, because we have a limit on how we can get in those things and get the result fine. Mm. If we can have government on behind us, believe you me, we will do the excellent. I will make sure we feel the nation. Interesting, the, the Business Daily is also planning to touch some of these basi base, bases that you mentioned, the That's Northeast, okay. the Northwest, the North Central, mm. the South South, and indeed the Southeast, yeah. so that we can actually identify crops that are peculiar to some of these uh, regions, as the case may be. Mm. Now, let's look at um, the food insecurity. Yeah. You have talked about uh, the issue of uh, uh, insecurity affecting farmers yes. uh, and of course you, you also talked about how 
some governors are interested in going into agriculture. Mm -hmm. Are they waiting for support from the federal government? Because we know that the government governors are the chief security officers of their states. Yeah. Are they waiting for uh, federal government support before they can actually invest in uh, farming in their respective states? Yeah. Uh, like you rightly put it, you know, farming is time bound. Once that time pass, you can't reverse it any longer. Mm -hmm. That year is gone. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are anticipating another strike of hunger in next year or in the nearest future. Mm. Because as I'm talking to you now, farmers are not producing anything. They are, we're not in the farm. Why? Because of insecurity. Mm. We thought with the coming of the new government, the tension is going to be low. But it's going higher. You can see what is happening in Joss. You can see what is happening in the southern Cardinal areas. Mm. You can see what is happening in Benway. Mm. Even in Zamfara. We, we in Zamfara. Mm. We Benue is the food basket of the nation. Mm. People have been slaughtered every day. So even if you give them uh, assistance to go to the bush, they are afraid of going there because when they go there, they will not return. Mm. So in that kind of circumstances, how do we cope up? So the tendency of this food insecurity cannot be nipped on the board except the issue of insecurity is addressed. Mm. Government don't need to negotiate with bandit. These are miscreant. They came from nowhere. They are not even Nigerians. If Nigerians stand up today and go and terrorize their neighboring country, what will they say? Nigeria is the giant of Africa. When there are crises in other nations, Nigeria walk in mm. and do what they can do to solve the problem. Now we are having the problem. How many countries indicate interest in coming to help Nigeria in this matter? Mm. And we are equal to the tax. It just takes the political uh, will. will to actually solve them. The president can just get up and give a command. Mm. They don't want to see bandit or hear about that today. Abacha, the later Abacha said once that when a problem of such nature lingering for days or for two, three hours, mm. government have, might be inside. Absolutely. If they are not really to, if they, if they are not really come up to do the sol or proper solution to this problem, we will sit down and be looking at ourselves. Nobody will go and waste his life in the bush because what will produce to feed the nations? <laughs> I will die of hunger. I'll die of hunger. <laughs> so one thing we are certain is that you, it is important up to man to die once and after that is judgment. <laughs> so every man is programmed to die one day. So if you die by hunger, all the same. If you die by bullet, all the same. But in this case, <laughs> hunger um, can come strike so they can advise your people. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yes. Interesting So we there. want the government to come in and mm. see what they can do to not nip the, the issue of insecurity in the country. Mm. So, so that allow, is only so where farmers can, can, can have, have free go. access to, to their to the farm. Land. I must thank you, Doctor, uh, Chief Dr. Ogbo Joseph Douglas, yeah. President of Farmers Progressive Association, mm -hmm. for your time on Business Daily. Today is very interesting submission you have. Though the time is short, but uh, the insight is indeed what the, uh, the viewers will want to hear. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Yes. Uh, you. With that, it's a wrap on Business Daily today. Join us tomorrow for more. I am Yusuf Akogu.